fruits are great snacks as well there's really a bunch of things it's just really up to you as to you know what you would like to have as a snack but fruits are good sweets are not good snacks okay um ayanda yaya babes yaya babes says neka says uh grocery list please pantry items and fresh food do portion control i absolutely positively portion control portion control is the biggest biggest most important thing especially when it comes to wanting to maintain control and stabilize your weight if you are here for weight portion control is really really good because when you eat big portions of food your stomach becomes bigger but if you cause portion control and you eat five times a day where you have morning eight o'clock snack ten o'clock lunch one o'clock and snack four o'clock and then dinner seven o'clock when you do something like that with small portions it reduces the size of your stomach so when you do eat something really heavy like for me a burger i can only probably eat the burger and not the chips a hawaiian twister which is like oh for me it's just i love hawaiian twisters i can have that but not the chips because i just automatically feel full immediately after that so your stomach size actually reduces uh, because of portion control um grocery list i am I'm, I'm not even gonna lie grocery list consists of a lot of fruits and vegetables me lots of fruits lots of vegetables lots of protein fish chicken uh lamb when when we're talking fish i like salmon and haddock and all these kinds of fishes lamb uh chicken chicken is the standard i'm black um what else there's a bunch of things but honestly my fridge full of things that i can eat now within the next couple of days that's why i do a small grocery shop every single week because i buy fresh produce that i have to eat throughout the week and then it's finished and then i have to buy again things that are in my pantry that that are good for me are seeds sesame seeds nuts chia seeds condiments of course um which i don't use all the time things like honey those are things that are always constantly constantly in the pantry because honey is a supplement for sugar just in case it doesn't know but yes now you know uh, hunari says how do you fight the temptations to eat unhealthy meals when you stay with other people so in the house it's just me and my sister the thing is it's very hard to fight the temptation that's why you have to absolutely positively have to make sure that you have discipline especially when it comes to healthy eating you have to have discipline you don't have much of a choice but once you have discipline it's really really good because um my sister and i are very respectful of one another if one is on a certain strict eating uh plan like my sister right now is on herbal life we are very respectful of one another i'm not gonna walk in or, or, or uh, uh with a pizza and whatever if i know that my sister can't really have it so i'm just i think really i can't explain that any other way except just to have discipline especially when you live with other people it's hard especially for muntus of figure a party gota and you know that you haven't had gota in a while it's hard but unfortunately you have to have that discipline <clears throat> at that point where you feel like you want to have that gota snack on something have a uh, protein bar have something but just keep your mouth busy so that you can forget about it or just walk away get out of the room and leave that's that's all you can do honestly that's all you can do and i also think it's very important for people who live with you to understand and respect the fact that you are on a certain eating regimen and they need to you know support that and try and make it easier for you that's that's what i feel uh, faithfully underscore penny says what are your top favorite top five favorite smoothies okay first is this one i love green smoothies this one has banana in it so it's got a little bit of a sweet you know this has got banana and spinach but sometimes i have a proper green smoothie with kale spinach cucumber maybe apple for a little bit of sweetness but proper proper celery proper green like that's what i want to detox and then i love my oat smoothies as well which is on my blog i've got that recipe on my blog i also love um wow i don't like fruit smoothies i'm not like other people i really don't like fruit smoothies where people mix berries and and pineapples and this and this and this i don't like sweet smoothies uh, it's not a thing uh so for me banana smoothies as well depending on how i make them i can't really give you my top five favorite five because i'm a creature of habit so i repeat everything that i enjoy so i'll make this like 
three or four times a week because I enjoy it or maybe three times a week because I can't have a banana more than three times a week but green smoothies are my thing green smoothies <laughs> green smoothies are my thing I'm sorry I'm a little bit sick so I'm not my normal self Ella says what do you eat in a week I think I mentioned that like for me it's mostly fruits vegetables I'll be like re repeating myself but fruits vegetables all the good stuff protein in a week do you have cheat days one cheat day a week when I started this uh, healthy living process I did not have a cheat day I had a cheat day I think once every two or three weeks but uh, now I can go cheat day once a week and I'm, I'm perfectly fine because I can regulate it uh, do you do home exercises or do you go to gym no I don't do home exercises I don't do gym um, the only thing that I have to do at home a lot of the time is stretch stretching is something that I do because of my costochondritis but other than that no no but I am looking to getting into yoga if I can find a good studio I don't want to do yoga at the gym I want to do yoga at a yoga studio if I can find a good studio around here I'm jumping on it okay uh, Maxine says how do you stay motivated when it comes to clean eating I think it's the goal the goal for me is to make it a lifestyle and when once you decide to make something a lifestyle you encourage you get that discipline right Max you get that discipline and you tell yourself that this is what I want for my life and because of that you will do the right thing and um, you know have the discipline to just keep going sometimes you can be easy on yourself you don't always have to just keep going keep going sometimes just be easy on yourself just tell yourself you know what not today I don't feel like it today I want to have a burger today and you are more than welcome and willing to have your burger as long as you don't have your burger every single day you know and the thing is you know what keeps me motivated as well the fact that I feel so good after drinking this I feel so so good how I feel after I eat fruits and vegetables and the good stuff and I stay away from sugar so I don't have itis and things like that. I love how I feel. I feel more energetic. I'm up and about. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I love how it makes me feel. And because of that, it's motivation to just keep doing it. I don't remember the last time I felt sluggish after eating and feel, uh, I only feel sluggish if I eat a burger. But other than that, I really feel good about it so that's just you know that's just how that is <clears throat> Salem Guni says how do you deal with unhealthy cravings and do you also exercise or just healthy eating I think I've answered that somewhere at some point in the video babes yeah. the last question is from Gabby Gabby says I would like to know how you deal with those cravings when they hit hard I think I answered it as well I think you just literally have to stay away if the cravings hit and they hit hard, you have to have the discipline. It is so important to have the discipline. Wow, it suddenly got brighter. It's cloudy outside and now it's suddenly gone bright and I look scary. But anyway, to be honest, it's the discipline and I can't say anything more than that. I really can't say anything more than that. Telling yourself that this is a lifestyle, you want to make it a lifestyle and not just something that you want to do for the time being if it's something that you want to do for the time being you're gonna quickly 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 get tired of it so definitely tell yourself that this is a lifestyle this is how I want it to be wow I really think I should maybe reduce the okay is that a little bit better yeah I reduced the so you have to just basically have that discipline I really can't explain it any more than I have uh, but yeah if I'm to give you any tips the tips are before I end off this video, you have to <clears throat> portion control, develop a really good relationship with fruits and vegetables. Definitely. With meat, it's very easy. We are all we are all carnivores. We are meat eaters. So that's fine. But develop a relationship with fruits and vegetables. They will be your best friend, especially when you decide to eat healthily. Drink lots of water. I drink three to four liters of water a day. So Definitely drink lots of water, so, so important because water flushes everything out. And I think water is a big key player in the stabilizing of your weight as well. And um, also have the discipline. Tell yourself that you want to make this a lifestyle. If you want to make it a lifestyle, it could work. If you don't want to make it a lifestyle, it's not going to work. So it's really, really up to you to tell yourself that you want to make it a lifestyle. But yeah, this video has been long enough. 
I have split, I'm going to split this video into two because I cannot have 26 minute long video. So I'm gonna split it into two, maybe seven minutes here, seven minutes there. I'm gonna definitely reduce it, but I want to get everybody's questions in as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else that you would like to know from me in terms of the healthy eating, definitely do let me know. But for now, I am gonna be out because I am sick and I'm not feeling the best and I'm gonna go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, sayonara. Mwah.